What is going on guys, KNH Films here, and today I'm going to be making a video about Troxel. For those of you who don't know what Troxel is, it's a website where you can make hats, weapons, and various items. Um, you can make hats, weapons, various items, things like that, melee, you know, gun, staff, bow, whatever. And then you can submit these to to Glyph, and the, these are the weapons that get put into the game. Um, but the reason I'm making this is not just because I make a whole lot of stuff, because I don't make anything on Troxel. The reason is, is because someone asked a question um, on my Trove Mods how-to vid, and he said, how do I get the dot blueprint? I've been using Troxel and have a gun model that I want to try out just to see how it looks, but I can't get a, blue, a dot blueprint any way I can. So... I'm here to show you how. Now, I'm sorry this is really late. It's horrible timing. I just, I haven't had time to make a video and truly like put time into it. So, that's out of the way. To get to Troxel, all you gotta do is just search Troxel on the thing. I'm not gonna do that right now, just for, you know, sake, but anyway. Once you're here, can do open model from file and you can either open a model or do an empty new model set your you know stuff now once you've created it messed with all your settings and everything you want to go up to here and press export model now we'll call this staff underscore fay okay now you want to export it as a dot qb once you do that, it'll download down in your browser right here. So let's minimize that. We're just going to drag this over here. All right, so now you've got staff underscore fay dot qb. Now, obviously, this is not your, um, you know, that's not your dot blueprint, right? Yeah. Well, Trove has this little thing. So obviously, you need to go to your local disk and go to program files. Now, if you're on Steam like I am, you need to click on Steam, Steam Apps, Common, scroll all the way down to Trove, Games, Trove, Live. Once you're here, now, and if you're just off of the Trove, the Glyph website, all you gotta look for is Glyph or Trove. Once you're in there, just do the same steps from here. Games, Trove, Live, this is how you do it. Now what you wanna look for is the dev tool underscore convert underscore to underscore blueprint. Once you find this, you want to drag this file onto that so it's highlighted. Once you do that, it'll open up a prompt and then the prompt will disappear. It'll make a file on your desktop called your name and then dot blueprint. It will also make a file with the same file in your blueprints folder. So now you have that in your blueprints folder. So now, here's the magic. If you go into game and you do slash WP space and the name. So mine is staff underscore fay. And voila. Now obviously I made it the wrong way, but as you can see, and you can test it out. You can play with your own staff. Really cool. Now obviously to get out of this, all you gotta do is just go here. And I gotta find that staff. I assume it's in Fay, actually. Yeah, you just click it again, and there it is. Your staff is back. So it's pretty easy. Um, I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, maybe I'll make a couple staffs, maybe a couple mod packs you guys can throw onto your trio of characters. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to smack the like button. And, uh, you know, friend me on Trove. I've already gotten quite a few extents of friends. Um, a lot. Uh, keep those referrals coming in. I really appreciate the people that have referred me already. It means a lot. Um, I could actually show you. So, I'm up to four right now. Um, it'd be really cool to get them out. So, keep those referrals coming in. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later.